Seven weeks ago, Juan decided to help us out with social media, which we appreciate, but Juan had never done starting strength before. Nope. In fact, Juan had never touched a barbell, and so there's no way that he could accurately convey what it is we do unless he actually tried it himself. So here we are, seven weeks later. Take a big breath, bend over and squat. Butt up. Good. So on, on March 13th, Juan started at 167 pounds body weight. Today, he's 189 pounds. Correct. So that's pretty damn impressive. That's 22 pounds in two months. On day one, he had never touched a barbell before. His squat was 75 pounds, three sets of five. And I hope this is the part of the video where you overlay your first workout, where you're trying to figure it out. Right. We called Juan the gummy bear because he couldn't, <laughs> couldn't quite keep things tight at the beginning. And today, you squatted three sets of five at 235 pounds. Yes. Two months later. And he felt great. And the bar speed was fast. True. So you're going to be at 300 pounds in your squat probably within four weeks. That's if you keep showing up. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Your press went from 53 pounds, which was a grind, to 92 and a half pounds, three sets of five. Bench started at 55 pounds, went to 127.5 pounds. So you'll soon have a full plate on your bench, which will be great. And then your deadlift on day one, I'm looking forward to you showing this video. You could not pull together a set of five at yeah. 95 pounds in your deadlift. Yeah. Really you were good. just too fatigued. Your legs were giving out, your back was tired. And then uh, we had you pull 265 pounds for a set of five last week. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's pretty damn cool, man. Yeah. I'm very impressed by your level of commitment and that's why you've been successful. If, if you think about one trait that is common amongst all people that do starting strength, it's the fact that everybody has extreme levels of commitment. You cannot do this program. You cannot add dozens of pounds of body weight. You cannot triple, quadruple your squat unless you are extremely committed to doing exactly what the program calls for, not missing a single workout, even if you only got how many hours of sleep? Four hours. Four hours of sleep. You yeah. still gotta show up and get it done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what's changed for you, man? Tell me tell me um, some things you've noticed, some things that are notable, just, just uh, anything that you think is worth mentioning. Being able to lift in my back 235 pounds and just do 15 reps without a problem. That's a big change. Pretty cool. That's something that you never imagine. Yeah. Second, you get stronger and it's stronger is not just to, to show like the t-shirt or whatever. The stronger is that you you leave your butt every day like with more more comfortable. Uh, I had I used to have back pain mm. because I had like a little car accident. When, when was the accident? It was in 2016. And how often does your back hurt since then? Uh, more than hurt, I was starting to feel even nimble parts. Numbness? Like, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, and at the end of the day, you hurt like really bad when I when I was going to bed. So every day? Yeah. Okay. And when is the last time that part of your back hurt? No. Like uh, like after one month that we did it. The first one was tough though, but after the first month, it was gone. Completely. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So that's good stuff. And, and I don't feel it. And I, I work sitting every single day, but my posture was corrected. Um, I went to play soccer the other day. I had more power. What do you mean? Uh, power meaning it, so, soccer is very explosive. You need to run fast. Mm -hmm. When I tried to run, it was like having turbo on my back. <laughs> uh, people, it, it's a contact sport, so yeah. they tried to push me. Before, I was being, I was skin, skinny all my life, like yeah. ultra skinny. Yeah. Uh, so they used to push me, and it was so easy to move me around. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, it's it's hard to move. Uh, and it's just it's just that good feeling when my wife sees me and she's like oh you, you look bigger you look better it's simple simple little things that make your life better yeah man what was the thing you were telling me about your stepson oh he practice uh jiu-jitsu how old is he uh 14 what's his body weight oh, 130 okay what happened 20 um so he has been training yeah and when he came one day he came after training all hype and he's before what, I started, what was this like two weeks ago. Okay, so one week into starting training. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we start, we start like practicing and everything, and he flipped me over, and he's like showing me all of this. Like, wow. One hundred and twenty pounds, yeah. and he used to be able to flip you. Yes. And when did you wrestle with him last? Uh oh, this week. Uh huh. And he he couldn't move me. Excellent. And he was just like <laughs> like a little monkey in a little tree because he couldn't move me at and, all. And how many sessions of jujitsu have you done? Oh zero. Oh interesting. Okay. Oh, zero. Oh, so strength matters. Yeah. Okay. About that. Fast, fast. Yes, easy. Look, I did cardio, I ran, I did spin classes, I did everything, and it was just to feel nice and to sweat, but nothing that shows results. Do you know? Do you know why that is? It's because this entire industry is based on a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. 
It's based on the misunderstanding that to be fit, you need to train your heart and lungs and burn calories. Um, that's just not the case. As we discovered, the best way to actually transform yourself from head to toe is to add pounds and pounds of muscle. Yeah. And during the process of strength training, you're not only getting stronger, but it's the meta adaptation and you're affecting all other physical attributes, including your conditioning. So right. an untrained person like yourself, I mean, you play soccer, but right. an untrained person like yourself, you can put a barbell on your back, get your squat up into the mid 200s after a couple of months and change everything about your physical performance. And actually, last week I was talking with a friend, and he's big, and he's big in barbell, and he likes it, but he has done it just by himself, mm -hmm. and he has done it for five years, mm -hmm. and he hasn't seen like the progress that I've seen when I was sharing my progress yeah. with him. It's like, oh, that's so awesome. So that's really cool to start starting strength. Yeah. You start way ahead of anyone that is like a little bit interest because yeah. you have a person that really knows what it's doing. Yep. Your form is, is 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 being corrected every single day. Yep. So that's what he was telling me. It's like, dude, I was I was lifting and I uh, hurt my back or I hurt something because I didn't know what was my my posture or the correct position. So I told him, oh no, that's nice. I have I have my coach and he's every single time telling me, uh, should your your knees forward or just go a little bit down or just close your grip or all of those little cues help you to just progress faster Yep, and, and they and keep you safe. safe. They keep you yeah. safe because safe. the crazy thing is about barbell training is that people go out, myself included, really because there's no other option, and learn how to lift heavy weights without a professional guiding them. And yet we wouldn't send our car to a mechanic that's just learning. We wouldn't try to figure out the piano on our own necessarily unless you're that type of personality. But again, you know, playing the piano, there are no physical stakes at play. Yeah. And yet for whatever reason, people go into the gym, get under the barbell, and just kind of freestyle, which I, which I get it. There really aren't that many good options, and that's kind of why we're doing the gym program, which is giving people access to a coach three times a week exactly. so you can just show up, get strong, as long as you do what you're told. But there's two points you mentioned about your buddy that's training with barbells that are, that are important. So firstly is the technique. He's got nobody to help him with his technique, and so that's why he's, he's being injured. That's why he's getting injured. And the second thing is he said he hasn't made progress in how long? Like, uh, not, not, not like measurable progress and yeah. successful progress. So right. he, of course he's getting bigger, of course, but he was telling me, I didn't know how much to eat. Right. So I ate too much, for right. example. And he, he got just like fat and like, like a lot, he got a lot of weight. So it's programming. Muscle. The second exactly. thing you need is programming. You need your coach to tell you how many sets, how many reps, how much weight on the bar, because a coach has done this with dozens or hundreds or thousands of people and they understand this model down to every last detail and they understand how to apply the model to anybody. Yeah. So again, what we did with you is unremarkable. Mm -hmm. I took the starting strength model, I applied it to you specifically, mm -hmm. you showed up, you did what you were told, you ate, and it worked. Yeah. And it's only been two months. Yeah. So you are just starting your lifting career now. Mm -hmm. uh, you are on your way to being a big, strong man. Mm -hmm. These were your words before, not mine. You said that you were built like a little boy, right? Yeah, I was, so, I was a so little boy, yeah. I started off small too, man. We had, we had the exact same body weight when we started. I started 168 pounds okay, at six exactly foot two. Yeah. But again, as we've discussed, this program is not about aesthetics. This program is about performance. It's about being a better, more capable version of yourself. Yeah. And um, you know, form follows function. So aesthetics are a welcome side effect of the program. Yeah. So you've added two inches to your chest. Uh, and, and by the way, a lot of that is, is from your back. Can you spin around and show your back? Yeah. All this stuff back here is, uh, that's all new, man. There was nothing solid back here before. Nope. <laughs> this was all spine and bone. Turn back around. And then uh, your hips increased in size by two and a half inches, and that's uh, primarily because now you have a, a big bubble butt. Yes. And uh, that's one of the nice side effects. Strong, strong butt. Strong butt of, of starting strength. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, all of the muscle mass surrounding your hips, I mean, that's really where all your power and force is generated. And so we drive your hips out of the bottom of the squat, and you've been doing that very well. And so you built up all the musculature around that joint. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you're well on your way to becoming a man. So yeah. you'll be big and strong if you stick with this. And the, the benefits that you've noticed so far, those have only just started. Thank you.